Hi everyone, Renee here. I'm going to do a, hopefully a short little video to show you guys me in action doing my Shelly Art Bloom Effect technique that um, I finally got the recipe down and um, I am loving this technique. Hopefully this video comes out because I'm going to try to do this video with my grandkids in the room. They told me they were going to be very quiet and good. Okay, you can say hi. 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 Okay, that's all from them. All right, here we go. Okay, I know my lighting here is very bad, so hopefully this works. Right now what I got going on is I have some tiles, 4x4 four four tiles that I got from the hardware store. And I have some that I have already put some resin on. Um, I love the look of resin. Let's see if you guys can see this. Um, very shiny stuff. It looks like glass. And um, not sure how much it's going to hold up with a hot cup of coffee. But I love the look of it. So what else? The other thing I've done is... Oops. <laughs> I have, um, oh, I hate this light. Okay, let me see if this is better. Um, these here, I have sprayed this, uh, what is it called? Rust-Oleum engine enamel. And this is up to 500 degrees. So a good cup of hot coffee can be put on these tiles without it sticking. Um, I don't like the way it looks per se versus over uh, resin um, this is the resin I've been using and it's pretty easy to use I like it a lot um, I think for some of these tiles that I haven't resined yet or varnished I'm going to do some resin on it and then I'm going to spray a layer of this rust-oleum on top of it and see how that works so I'll let you know about that yeah. okay so let's get started here let me put you guys down okay the colors I'm going to be using for this tile I already used this tile once and I didn't like the way it came so I just scraped it off um, so I'm going to be using some of this fuchsia pink, which is, uh, Anita's. It's more of a fluid acrylic versus a hard body acrylic. I got some gold here. This gold is elegant finish, uh, metallic paint. And I'm going to use some purple, which is... Um, hard to see, but it's by Ceramicote, and it's just called Purple. And then, of course, I have my cell activator uh, from the, a recipe that I got, f at, that I learned from a lot of YouTube that I've been watching. Um, some of the YouTube videos that I've gotten recipes from have been from Erica Hughes. She's really good. Tammy Anderson. Canela Ceraco. And she just goes by, I don't know who she is, but FX Acrylics. And so I've tried to use all of their recipes and different techniques. Some didn't work, some didn't work so well, some worked better. But what I come to find out is by grabbing a little bit of each of them, I came up with my own way of doing my own recipe by using what they suggested. Okay, hopefully everything's in frame and you can see pretty well. Um, what I'm first going to do is put down pillow paint. And pillow paint is just pretty much um, your base paint. But in the YouTube world, people call it the pillow paint. I'm going to be using, if you can see, this is um, house paint. It's white. It's called Color Place Ultra. It is from Walmart. 
which is only about like $15 for the gallon. And I already have some of it poured out into a small container so that I can just easily get to. So I'm going to grab for this four by four tile, about a ounce and a half. And I'm just going to make a decent sized circle. I'm probably going to use the rest of this, so I'll just keep it to the side. And I will now start layering three of my colors. So here I'm going to start with purple. And I made this yesterday. It is still a good consistency. It's on the thicker side than I would normally use for like a flip cup, a, um, a Dutch pour. It kind of resembles like warm honey, melted ice cream. Okay, so I'm just gonna put a little circle here, right in the middle of the house paint. And that's pretty good. Now I am going to get my fuchsia. Of course, a different stick for each color so you don't contaminate your colors. Nice consistency still. I will put my fuchsia down. Okay. Now I'm going to use gold. Here we go. And okay, a little circle on top of my fuchsia, a little bit more. Okay, so there, I got my three colors. Three to four colors is a good amount to use. Now comes, oops, good thing there was a lid on there. Um, the magic stuff, the cell out activator. And I've seen people put just a little dot on. I've seen people put more than just a dot. I don't know. So I don't know. Um, I'm going to say that looks good to me. Right, kids? Yeah. Right. Grandma's always right. Okay, now I'm ready to blow. So I'm going to blow straight down into the cell activator. Don't mind my head. And now I'm blowing off in several different directions. I'm already getting really beautiful cells right away. Cool, huh, guys? Uh -huh. I think this is pretty too. Um, probably one more petal. Okay, uh, another technique I can do is use my straw. Blow, I'm gonna blow a little bit of the white more out. Okay. I forgot to put gloves on. <laughs> That's not funny. <laughs> How did I do that? <laughs> that's what pa painters do. So that's what painters do sometimes. They forget things. Yeah. What I'm doing now is giving this about a minute to sit, um, to let the cells do its thing, to let 
you know, the paint in, is sinking into the different colored, layered colors and coming back up to the top. So the best thing to do is always try to wait about a minute and let that happen before you start tilting. So that's why I'm kind of, yeah, I'm kind of wasting my time a little bit letting that do its little trick there. Okay, now what I'm going to do is tilt. And the best thing to do is tilt to one corner, come back to the center, to the other corner, center, and so forth, so forth. Okay, so I will go to this corner. Uh, tilting, you wanna tilt really slow. You fine, Michael? What happened, you fell off the chair? Yeah, I'm fine. You're fine? Yeah. Okay. I, I did this. Okay, now I'm going to come back and go to the opposite corner. I am liking this Shelly Bloom technique. So I would like to have you guys come out to some of my classes and have fun with me. And let's experiment together. Okay, let me see if I can bring this up a little bit so you can see it a little bit better. You like that? Mm-hmm. Pretty, huh? Michael, stop. Okay. Michael, stop. That's about it. Thanks for watching. Bye.